Hello guys, welcome back to C1 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily C1 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the support reaction for the simply supported beam with uniformly distributed load of 5 kN per meter. And the total length of the beam is 10 meter. So we have to find out the support reaction for this beam by two methods. And both methods are very simple and easy to follow. So let's first to start with the method one to find out the support reaction. Now in this method, first of all, we know that this is hinge support RA, so it will take the vertical reaction RA, hence there is no horizontal load, so the horizontal reaction of this horizontal will be equal to zero because there is no horizontal load acting on the beam. Here is the rule support, so it will take the vertical load, so it will be RB. So we are interested to find out this RA and RB. In the first method, it's very really simple and easy. You just have to find out the load acting on your beam, which is 5 kN per meter. And then you have to multiply this load with the total length of the beam, which is 10 meter. So meter meter will be cancelled. We will get 50 kN. So 50 kN is the total amount of load acting at the center of the beam. This will act at the center of the beam. Now we have to support our A and our B. So simply divide this load 50 kN by 2. So we will get 25 kN. So R A will be 25 kN and R B will also be 25 kN. Because there are two supports, so the load is divided into two 25 kN. This is the first very simple and easy method to find out the support reaction. Now the second method, what we have to do, we can use this equilibrium equation. Let's suppose summation of moment at point A equal to zero. So and we will take the moment clockwise is positive and anti-clockwise is negative. So here again it is Ra, it is Rb. So to find out the summation of moment at point A, so we know that the moment is equal to the force multiplying it with the moment arm. So the first force that creates a moment is this load 5 kN per meter. So the load is 5 kN multiplying it with the total distance length 10 kN and this load will act at the center of the beam which is 50 kN. So I what I did here I just changed the uniformly distributed load into pointed load. Here it is 50 kN before it was 5 kN per meter. So this concentrated load will act at the center of the beam At the center of the beam means the half of the beam which is 5 meter is the total length is 10 meter. So the moment arm now this load will create the moment about point A in the clockwise direction. So the moment arm will be 5 meter. The distance from this load till the point A because we are interested to find the moment about point A. So this is the moment arm which is 5. Now the other load that creates the moment about point A is this RB and it creates a moment here if we look to this in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be negative because we assume that the anticlockwise moment are negative. So RB multiplying it with the moment arm because moment is equal to the force into moment arm. So here the moment arm is our distance from the B point till A which is 10 meter. So summation of all the moment about point A equal to 0. Now we are bringing this into the right side so it will be 10 RB and if we multiply this we will get 250. So simply if we divide this 250 by 10. So we get here 25 kN is the RB. Now to find out the RA, we can use this equilibrium equation, summation of all the vertical forces equal to zero. And let's suppose upward forces are positive and downward forces are negative. Now the upward forces are RA and RB, they are taken as positive, while the downward forces is this load which is acting on the beam is 5 kN per meter. So 5 multiplied with the 10 because it is a concentrated load now. Summation of all the forces equal to 0. Say so Ra will be equal to the, if we shift this value to the right side, we will get 50 minus Rb. Or we can say 50 minus 25 because Rb is 25. So we got here Ra 25 kN. So Ra here is 25 kN. So we found out the same support reaction as before by here by a different formal method where we use the equilibrium equation summation of moment and summation of vertical forces. So hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.